Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server admin tutorial, otherwise known as just bucket tutorials. And uh, if you're joining me for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button, become a friend, and uh, watch these videos. I do these every week as well as other content throughout the week. But this is the main focus, and if you have a question on a server, feel free to post it below. I'll do my best to answer, but, uh, you know, I have limited time and resources, but I'll do my best. And if you have a suggestion for a bucket uh, plugin that you'd like me to do feel free to post it below this one is brought by brought to you by gamer z and made by victor checked it out i thought it was a really cool plugin it's called boss message and basically what it does is it's a way to unclutter your uh, announcement reminder because usually those show up in the chat bar or the, the chat and this just makes it show up at the top bam like that so it doesn't uh, clutter your chat that's going on and but it, it posts it at the top it's really cool. It works right out of the box. has a lot of really neat features, and the author is actively working on it. So there's some new features coming in the future. Um, I was on. I was not able to get per group messaging working, but um, he is working on that, and uh, probably make a follow-up video to explain exactly how to do that. Um, but. I'm going to go over the basics. So a couple things. First of all, you need to get the bar API that's required. I'll put a link in the jibbles below. Otherwise, there's a link on his bucket page as well. And then the, the announcements can't be more than 64 characters. And then um, if you're getting 1.7, you got to rename it um, to the correct spelling. Little thing that you need to do there. <laughs> but anyway, uh, the got a couple optional um, plugins there. Uh, you got a vanish no packet is optional and vault. If you want to use one of the variables called rank to show a player's rank at the top, you'll want to get vault as well. But if you're running anything economy related, you'll probably be running Vault anyway. So a couple features. There's a whole list of variables. I'll put them on the screen right now. It's all on the bucket page. Uh, you can display the money, the world, players online. You can do variable colors. Uh, you can do color codes. You can change how full this bar is based upon the players online. That's pretty cool. I think that's really cool. And then in the future is per group messaging. So you can message only vips or whatever you want so let's get into it first thing you want to do is slash bm and he's got a great help section here and you can actually just hover over any of these and it'll uh, explain how to use it you can actually click on it it's going to paste it in the chat and then you just adjust it how you need it which is really neat and uh, we're just going to basically be looking at these first two but a couple things to note is there's a whitelist so if you want this only to show in certain worlds you can turn this on i think i turned it off by default because i didn't really want to uh, modify that so uh, you can add and delete worlds in there and then you can toggle it turn it on and off which is really neat and i'll show you guys how to do that add that to your to your users when I go over the permissions at the end of this video. So the first thing we want to do is we want to add. So let's just fill that in. So with the he, he's setting it up to to handle per group messaging. So you have to just do default here. That's the one that's all of these messages are showing on and all that. So now this percent is how full do you want this bar to look? This is 100%. And then um, if you saw, and then this is like 30 or 25, and then 50. So it's just a number of how, how full do you want it to be. We're going to just go, we're going to do, actually, let's just do this. 90. Now, if you set this to auto, it's going to count down through the message length like this one right here bam bam and then when it runs out it goes to the next one so let's just do auto because i think that's really cool then how long do you want it to show for now the thing about this is this is in ticks so 20 ticks equals one second so do four 240 so and then interval is going to be how long of a delay between the messages before that one's delayed so we're just going to go zero and then we're going to go hi tubes of you we're not going to use any uh, variables or anything like that just because this is an example so we've added it to the group now it's going to go through the list in order here i'll show you the list you can do bm uh oops bm list and that's going to show you the groups that you have i was playing with the group thing there so you got to go bm list default and then that's going to show you all the messages. So this is all the messages, and there is our test one that we put up there, and it's automatically going down depending on how long it's it's set to be there. So now if you want to remove that one, you got to go 
BM remove and then default is the group and then number seven. And then that's it. You can also do some quick broadcast. So if you want to do BM broadcast and then we want to do just five seconds high. So, um, oops, it would help if I spelt it right. So that's just going to immediately take over broadcast to everybody there, which is really neat. What else do we got here to go over? Um, there's a couple variables I want to just hit on. Is that percentage value you can, if you wanted to set it up like it does for the online players here, which you see right here, that is going to be you take your variable online players, divide it by max players times it by 100. Now all of these are filled in automatically and you can basically just look at these and kind of like modify them with however you want. This random color variable is really cool and then um, and actually you got to do you got to put percent signs in front of these. So um, as you can see here you put the percent online players percent and then that is that marks that variable. So the last bit that we need to go over before we wrap this up is the permission nodes. Now they're pretty easy. You just need to do boss message .c .default, and that will give them access to see the default group. Now, as he adds the group message, you also need to do boss message .c .group name. And then if you want your users to be able to turn their boss message off and on, you need to do boss message .toggle. That's all we got. Like I said, it's quick and easy. By default, it works really nicely out of the box. The author has a great help uh, section really lays out how to do this and um, with some great examples already filled in that you can just modify to be what you need it to be so hopefully you guys found that helpful this is cause from mcfriends feel free to like comment and subscribe let me know um, if you like this if you had a suggestion for another one and reminding you guys always enjoy the game god bless <laughs> yep. ah! Um, Kevin! Come on, Geo! Geo! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I said, I call Hi. Hex. Kevin has, has Hex. I don't know. I think I... I